your host of the most local 23, you're joining me for Perfect Match, Chapter 8, Starcrossed. At the sound of glass breaking, you and Sloane rush over to find Hayden lying unconscious on the floor. Hayden! Shards from the broken sangria glass play around Hayden. You kneel down and shake her, but she doesn't wake up. No. Dipper whines sadly, licks Hayden's hand in an attempt to wake her. Oh. Fumble for your cell phone to struggle to unlock it. Come on, come on. Here, let me. Sloane calls a number on her phone. Hello, we have an emergency. Cradle Hayden in your arms. Hayden, stay with me. We'll get through this together, I promise. Hayden's eyelids flutter slightly. Billy. Hayden touches her face gently, then her arm drops and her eyes close once more. Soon sirens ring out down the street. EMTs and paramedics load Hayden onto a stretcher and into the ambulance as lights flash around you. You watch as they close the doors and the ambulance speeds away. They said we could meet them at the hospital. Let's go. At the hospital, you head straight to the receptionist. Hi, we're looking for Hayden Young. Oh, it's the girl from It Lives in the Lake. One moment, please. She types away on her computer. She's been admitted to the emergency room. Her condition has stabilized, but she needs rest. One, only family members may visit at a time. Only family members? I understand. When can we see her? We'll call you as soon as Hayden's accepting visitors. I have a Sloan Washington listed as her emergency contact. Yes, that's me. Come on, Billy. And then Sloan step away from the desk. I just want to know what's going on. One of the paramedics said Hayden had symptoms of post-concussion syndrome. People are more prone to getting a stroke or a blood clot. After a severe head trauma like the car accident. Sloane takes one look at your horrified face. Sorry, that was supposed to be my comforting my voice, I, but I can see how that's not comforting. I'm glad you can see that, because, yeah. We'll have more data tomorrow. We can check in on her then. Well, at least we tried to see her. As you walk along the river, you know Sloane fidgeting with her hands. Well, that's the last time I ever throw a party. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just worried. I feel the same way people must have felt watching Friendship 7 re-enter Earth's atmosphere with a loose heat shield. Right, I'm, I'm sure. I should have made her go to the doctor sooner. She kept complaining about headaches after the crash. Sloan, this isn't your fault. So, you and friends, er, you and Hayden are really close friends, huh? You could say we're bosom buddies. I don't think anyone would say that. I've heard that term, shut up. Yes, I regretted my word choice immediately. Hayden is my biggest support system and one of my few friends. Though I'm probably not supposed to admit that. Sun pauses by the railing, looking out over the water. For what it's worth, I'm glad Hayden is someone like you. You seem to care about her a lot, and I know she cares about you too. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it? Tonight, when Hayden and I usually go to our favorite planetarium for the weekly late night evening... Hayden really wanted to take you there after the party. It's our routine. It always calms me down when I'm worried about something. Or need to escape. But now Hayden can't make it. Uh, what's the planetarium like? Oh, it's beautiful. It has the most amazing projections of constellations. I think you'd love it. I mean, you could 
come with me. Only if you want to, of course. I, uh... I guess... I'm not just... I'm not used to going to the planetarium alone. Huh. Take a minute to absorb how beautiful that wonderful sky is. I love planets, and I love things like that. It's just... Oh. Get to know Sloan at the planetarium. Turn down her invitation. It sounds fun, but I'm a little worried about Hayden right now. I think I'll just rest up until she needs us. That makes sense. Conserving energy is important. Sleep well, Billy. Message me if you need anything. I prefer encrypted communication. Okay. With that, you and Sloan part ways. I don't even know how to send encrypted communication. I know how to send encrypted data, but not messages. <clears throat> the next evening, you and Nadia walk at a brisk pace towards the hospital. Nadia holds a cheerful bouquet of flowers in her arms. I can't believe the news. Terrible things keep happening, and I... I have to do something. And what exactly are you supposed to do? Nadia brandishes the bouquet in frustration, almost hitting a random passerby. Grab the bouquet, hold on to it. Hey, careful with the flowers. Those are for Hayden. Sorry. I feel you. Let's just see if they're letting her have visitors now. You enter the waiting room to see a familiar face talking to the receptionist. The price is great. Where'd you get it? Oh, on vacation in San Juan. Oh, no kidding. The sea glass design is impeccable. My aunt actually owns a grocery jewelry store there. I can refer you to her. I'm sure she'd find something special for you. Damien, what's he doing here? Out of the sight of receptionist, you signal to Damien and regroup in the neighboring hallway. Perfect timing. I'm trying to see Hayden, but this receptionist is a tough one to crack. She's not letting anyone through. For now. You're here to check in on Hayden? You finally warmed up to her, huh? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Billy. I said I would get to the bottom of this. Keeping tabs on Eero's clients happens to fall under the umbrella. Sure, Damien. Keep telling yourself that. So what's the deal? D, did you get any info? Yeah, the receptionist actually let it slip that the room Hayden's staying in, Neurology 136, just through that door. We gotta s distract her and nab her badge for the key card access. I don't know about you, Billy, but I'm not waiting around for them to finally let us in. Yeah, for once, I agree with Damien. I want to see firsthand that Hayden's really okay. Or has she been replaced with a new Hayden? <laughs> exactly. Wait, for once? We have to play it smart, though. Any thoughts? Yeah, you keep complimenting the receptionist while I swipe the badge. Stroking someone's ego always, almost always lowers their guard. Easy. People can smell false flattery from miles away, Dee. I've had people compliment my art when all they really wanted was a spot in my gallery. We gotta cause a scene. Something loud, dramatic, and flashy. If you can handle that, Billy, I got still the badge. Actually, I'm gonna go with cause or dramatic. I, that works far more times, in my personal opinion, than what Damien's going for. I'm a thespian at heart. Just wait for my signal. You buy a bottle of water from the vending machine and subtly pour a bit on the floor. Then you walk across the floor, pretend to slip, and fall hard on the ground, cradling your arm. Ah! My arm! Reception stands up startled. Are you okay? Oh, I can sue you for not having a wet floor sign. Out of the corner of your eye, you see Nadia swipe the badge from the desk. I do you require medical attention for your arm. Ugh. Now I'll manage somehow. My poor humorous bone. Hu humorous bone. I want you to take a minute. Just take a minute. You meet up with Damien and Nadia at, as the other guests take the receptionist's attention. Nice one, Billy. The Park cousins were born for a life of deception. Come on. While well, she's not looking this way. Swipe the badge and sneak through the door. You walk down the hallway looking for a room marked number 136. 
should be down here. Rush into the hospital room to find an empty bed. Wait, where's Hayden? Maybe they took her away to check her vitals? Search around for any belongings, but the room appears untouched. I swear, this is the room the receptionist said. Let's split up and check the other rooms. Quickly scour a few of the nearby rooms, then I mean, back at room 136. I didn't see her. We should probably hurt. Receptionist arrives with two security guards flanking her. What are you doing? You can't be back here. We got lost searching for the... Where's Hayden? Tell us now. Hayden Young has been transferred to another unit. We cannot disclose her confidential information. Now, if you kindly leave, you're disturbing the other patients. What other patients? They're probably all empty rooms, too. Mmm, I don't trust you, woman. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You give my spider sense a tingle. Especially going out in the woods late at night. Hmm. Security escorts you outside as they depart. You glance down at the bo your bouquet of pink flowers, sadly. I can't believe this. Something is definitely up. An admin telling us off makes sense. But security popped up out of nowhere as though they were prepared. You don't... You don't really think Hayden is gone, do you, Billy? Nadia, find out whatever they're hiding. I know it. Probably did transfer. Let's check tomorrow. Well, let's find out what they're hiding. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. The things you do for young love. All this on top of what's happened with Steve. Exactly. Two disappearances is a pattern. Oh, as I go to hiccup. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's try that again with a voice. I'm gonna go home and work on my evidence board, and maybe paint on a new canvas while wearing my avocado face mask. <laughs> okay, you do that. For catharsis. Nadia places a hand on your shoulder and gives it a little squeeze. Stay strong, Billy. You too. Nadia disappears down the subway steps and you turn to Damien. What do you think we should do? Well, we'll look into what leads we have and we can meet up tomorrow. There are a lot of loose ends to tie up. In the meantime, though, there's no use worrying yourself sick. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I just hope she's safe. Damien takes one look at your despondent face. Hey, I got an idea to take your mind off things. How about I take you to my classic stakeout spot? I can give you some tried and true detective tips. Might come in handy. And it's one of my favorite rooftops looking out over the city. It'll be a good break from all what's happening. So, you in? I'm still concerned why they gave us an option to teach um, Nadia karate. I'm, I'm still wondering if that wasn't for something here in the near future that we may discover. I don't know. We'll find out. So join Damien on a stakeout roof or stay say goodnight. We'll say goodnight. There's a lot to think about. I kind of just want to lie on the couch and binge comedies until I forget everything. George Carlin's a good choice. That's not a bad plan. Let's meet up soon. I have a suspicion, but I'll have a better idea by tomorrow. The next evening, your phone rings after you get home from work. Hello? Hey, it's me. Let's meet outside Hayden and Sloan's apartment. Uh, why? What's going on? I called Sloan and asked if she'd been able to check in on a Hayden recently. She told me that Hayden's still not a lot of visitors. Still? I can't believe that. What does that have to do with going to their apartment, though? There was something off in Sloan's voice. She seems weirdly insistent that I don't visit Hayden. I just have this gut feeling that she might be hiding something. We should pay her a visit and see what we can find out. See you in 15. Are oh, we gonna beat her up if she doesn't tell us? Come on now. Sloan locks the door and sees you and Damien. 
Billy, Damien. This is a surprise, but not a bad one. What are you two doing here? Hi, Sloan. Damien and I... Need you to tell us what's going on with Hayden. Now. Clue to send things up. We think you know something about it. But Billy, I, I... I know as much as you do. Actually, we wanted to pack a bag of Hayden's things and bring them to the hospital. I'm sure after staying so long, she's missing some basic necessities. Oh, well... Actually, yes, that's a good thinking. I'm sure she'd want her electric toothbrush. Please come in. Of course. We don't know where Hayden's staying, but I'm sure a nurse can pass her things along. Ah, oh, yes. The staff there is competent and fond of lavender scented hand soap. I'm confident Hayden will receive the bag. Confident, huh? What do you have planned, Tamian? Dipper ambles over to you and rubs her head against your leg, whining sadly. Oh, I miss Hayden too, Dipper. Have you heard any news, Sloan? No, I haven't heard anything. But everything will work out. The doctors know what they're doing. You and Damien exchange a look. Besides, Hayden knows you, Billy. I know she trusts you a lot. But in a weird way. But not in a weird way. She has a good reason. Aw, uh, thanks, Sloan. Ahem. Um, anyway... I'm running late for a weekly tutorial session. I'm helping some local teenagers with algebra. I have differential equations. I love them almost as much as I fear teenagers. Sloan points at a drawer. All of Hayden's things are in there. The top left drawer. Maybe just drop the bag off at the door uh, before you go. And I'll deliver it once the hospital contacts me. Uh-huh. Sloan waves her arm in a circle as a farewell. Time for your, your walk, Dipper. Ruff. Door shuts behind them. Damien walks to the other side of the room. So, let's take a look around. You want us to snoop around their apartment? I've been doing some digging. Found out she leaves around this time like clockwork. This is our chance to find clues. That's actually a good idea. I'll make a detective of you yet. Bite me, Damien! <laughs> okay, so anything in particular we're looking for? Anything that doesn't line up with Sloane's story. Or Hayden's. You search around the bookcase while Damien opens some cabinets. After a few minutes... Nothing so far. Maybe we shouldn't even be here. Ah, there's gotta be something. Let's keep at it. You open up the last drawer and dig through a pile of clothes when you find... Field Technician and Eros. Field Technician? Sloan is with Eros? I mean, we knew Sloan was off. Let's be honest. We knew Sloan was off. I knew it. This makes perfect sense. Yeah. I knew something was off. She didn't even seem worried enough about Hayden. So, what do we do now? Simple. We need answers, and we just got the ultimate access to all of them. Damien holds up the ID card, a mischievous smile spreading on his face. We're breaking into Eros. Tonight. Don't you do it, Bixelberry. Nope, I don't see the screen. No. No, we don't see the screen. No, it's all a delusion. A delusion, illusion, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really exist. Uh, today, I'm just sick, and this is wrong! <sighs> you cliffhangers with this, really? I'm telling you right now, because perfect does not exist. Let's get that out of the way, for starters. Perfect does not exist. And Hayden is probably a robot. So, I'm sticking with my story. I've been sticking with my story since day one. Chapter one, all the way up till now. I'm sticking with my story. I'm sticking with my story. I even covered it in the recap the other day. Nope, Hayden ain't human. If she's human, okay, then there's been a really ch freaky chain of events. Um. Ooh, excuse me. <sighs> Wouldn't it make sense? 
hey, I'm her friend, and I'm really socially awkward. Like, come on now. That way she gets to keep a close eye on the android prototype. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's malfunctioning. Wow. Eros is great for perfect matches. Do all the relationships last like two weeks? Is that is that what happens? And you know that weird guy who was Steve's dad? Yeah, he probably isn't Steve's dad. He's probably the creator, and this is Westworld. Or... What happens if we're the malfunctioning androids and the people are leaving? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Or who knows? Um, with that being said, thank you all for watching. I do apologize about the delay today. I have been up since about 7 o'clock this morning sick. Um, stomach sick. Not sick sick. But, yeah, I mean, still sick, but it's really kind of sucked. But, um... Pushing through, of course, I pretty much have nothing non-existent, um, or remaining in an existence and left in my stomach, besides some yogurt, um, Pepto, which didn't work, so I switched over to a Modium AD, which seems to have done the trick, and then also some teas, I did peppermint tea, I did some, uh, watermelon zinger tea, just things, to, just to help my stomach, you know, yogurt. So, uh, I do apologize about the delay today. I'm just totally wiped the hell out. This has really sucked. So I'm trying to get back on my feet. Um, with that being said, I hope y'all did enjoy. Remember to head down to the description below. Links to social media, our Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. We're almost up to 8,000 subscribers. That is awesome. Do keep in mind that there is an impersonator on our, uh, on Twitter that's saying they're me. Ignore it. I have one official account and only one account. So... Um, feel free to report that individual if you like. With that being said, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for High School Story, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.